With the addition of Pyro being added to the tech preview, Star Citizen now has up to five test environments, live, PTU, EPTU, or experimental PTU, tech preview, and for a select few, Evocati. At about 100 gigabytes each, this could be taking up valuable space on your SSD. Thanks to user Kate Snake on Reddit, I have found a fix for this using a Windows feature called Symbolic Links. Let's get into it. I'm going to show you how to consolidate your Star Citizen test environments into one folder, and we're starting right now. What's up, citizens? This is Subliminal, and welcome to another Star Citizen's hardware guide. Well, it does save space on your hard drive, right? Anyway, before I show you how to do this, there are some pros and cons to using symbolic links to merge your Star Citizen's test environments. One benefit that really hits home for me is using this setup, I no longer have to copy my joystick binds from one game to another. Another thing, you reshade users out there no longer have to manage multiple installs for each environment. And finally, your screenshots folder will now be synced across all versions. The only con I can think of is whenever you want to switch environments, you will have to verify the files and let it do a small update to correct the differences. With my gigabit internet, the process takes about three minutes, much better than how long it would take for a 100 gigabyte download. Now that you know if this guide is right for you, let me show you how to set it up. The first step is to find your Star Citizen install folder. Typically, this is located in your C drive at Program Files, slash Robert Space Industries, slash Star Citizen. Next, you will need to change the name of one of these instances to Game. I'm going to choose Live for this demonstration. Next, make sure you have your joystick bindings, screenshots, or anything that may be important in the other files backed up. For the sake of time, I'm going to rename these with trash at the end and delete them once I'm sure this works correctly. Once complete, tap the Windows button and search for CMD. This will bring up command prompt in the search. Right click it and run as administrator. Once the command line comes up, Type cd space and in quotations type the directory of your Star Citizen install. I copied and pasted it. If you have it installed in a different directory, it will need to be typed like this as seen in the original Reddit post. If you get an error that says the following, you probably didn't type in the command exactly as it needs to be typed. Now that the directory has changed, you're going to want to type the following mklink space forward slash D space live space game, just as I've written it here. If you have done this correctly, it will say, for example, symbolic link created for PTU or game. And a new shortcut has been added to the folder. If you get an error that says something is not recognized as a command, again, you may have mistyped. You're going to want to continue this for each game version you want to have directed to your new folder. PTU, EPTU, and Tech Preview if you have it. I don't have Evocati, so I don't know what that folder is called. If you are Evocati, let us know in the comments below what it would be called. If you're not Evocati, let me know how much hard drive space this guide saved you in the comments below. And that's it. All we need to do now is test to see if it worked. I want to inject something real quick into this video. One of my channel supporters who gets to review this script early uh, pointed out a tip that can help you guys if you just have one folder. So this is for the people who have one folder. Maybe you've been renaming it this whole time. It might be lab labeled live. It might be PTU or whatever. Um, this is for the people who just have one folder. And what you're going to do is type in this command. I'm going to put this command down in the comments below so you can copy and paste it. It's kind of lengthy. Now, you're going to want to change this command here where it says live, just the word live to match whatever folder you have in there. So for you, this may be PTU or maybe EPTU or whatever. So I have that matching and I'm just going to go ahead and click enter here. And what this did was it made all of the folders for live PTU, EPTU and tech preview all in one go. Basically that ampersand just changed the commands. So yeah, this might help some of you guys who again, are just using one folder. Maybe you've been renaming it. This will help you guys do it a lot quicker. Again, those commands are in the comments below. As you may remember, I renamed the live folder to game. 
So let's launch the EPTU. I'll select it and verify files. As you can see, a small download will start. For me, this is only nine gigabytes, and with my gigabit ethernet, it took me just over three minutes to download and patch. Let's launch to confirm. As you can see, Reshade loads up just fine. And if we check advanced controls in the options menu, we can see our saved keybinds that were previously saved in that live folder. Once all the previous versions are deleted, your Star Citizen folder should now be about 100 gigabytes. I hope you enjoyed this guide. If you did, consider subscribing. Also, the link to the original Reddit post is in the description. Feel free to drop some karma to the original poster. Hey, YouTube says only about half of you are subscribed. The algorithm is so good you may think you were when you're not. Consider subscribing for more Star Citizen content. Special thanks to my sub club members. Your monthly support helps me make this content possible. If you would like to join, visit subliminal.gg to see sub club perks. Your support in all forms makes this channel possible. Even your viewership, liking, and subscribing goes a long way. To continue watching, here's a video I think you may like. Here's a video YouTube thinks you may like, and until next time, citizens, I'll see you in the verse.